One is Russ Curtis, licensed clinical mental health counselor and professor of counseling, and I want to talk about what is weird research. And this picture that you're seeing of this strange fellow is awfully weird. Uh, but anyway, um, what does WEIRD stand for and why should we be concerned or care about that? So WEIRD is an acronym standing for Western Educated Industrialized Rich in Democratic Countries. And when we speak about Western countries, we're talking about typically most of Europe, North America, and Australia. And what's happening is we know that a high percentage of psychological studies use WEIRD samples. And then we apply those broad um, results to the entire world or globe, thinking, um, kind of trying to apply that, that this is how everybody thinks, when actually uh, the population of weird samples relative to the total population of the world is really relatively small. So that's problematic. It's not that the studies are bad, but we need to make sure that we're broadening our sample uh, to be more inclusive. I did just read a study, and I'll put just you know some information if you want to go find that, about solution-focused therapy, one of my favorites. And they are finding that that is becoming more global. And in fact, in the last 10 years, there's been more studies conducted in, on the continent of Asia related to solution-focused therapy. So that's the kind of thing we should care about as behavioral health professionals is where are we getting our information to make sure that we're not applying our values to folks who have different values. All right, I hope this is helpful. Please let me know and I will talk to you on the next video. Take care.